Eh, ang gusto ng MILF magkakaroon ng federal system po sa Pilipinas. But we cannot call it federal system kasi kami lang ang gusto na magkaroon ng sub-state. But to understand it very well, you study the federal system and you will be able to understand our proposal. We propose new entity and we have already said that that whatever agreement we will have, we will never get out of the Philippine government. The Philippine law will still operate in the territory that will be uh, adjudicated later on. So there is no sense in saying na baka maglagay sila ng Islamic State. In the first place, if they will put up an Islamic State, I will be the first to object because I'm not in Islam. See? So there is no, these are uh, just um, fears of the unknown. First, I am appealing to you to undo your mindset about the unitary setup. Open lang muna. Okay? Kasi there are other models of governance. There are many forms of government. Hindi lang yung atin. No? So, uh, alimbawa, UK, I will go back to UK again, is a, is a unitary setup. Pero meron mga component units bigger than yung county we we cannot use the word state i i wish you would allow us then it will go federal hmm? like the united states california new york uh, massachusetts kentucky hawaii see easier sa federal but we are not talking federal precisely because of the mindset of the filipino that cannot accept any other form Especially in the Senado, in the Congress. Now, there is a situation that we can have a separate mode of governance that what is prevailing in the national central authority as well as those other provinces and regions. That is what we are setting up. Okay? Now, can it be different from the others? Of course, it has to. Meron ng elements eh. Even under the Article 10 of the Constitution, meron na yung outlines like an assembly, except that we do not want to follow the strict separation of powers relationship. But because that is still presidential. That is not ministerial. That is not parliamentary. Again, what ministerial means is the government will be cabinet formed. The government that will be formed will be from the assembly. See, the first stage is to elect members of the assembly. Then whoever is the majority will form a government. Government of the day, we will call it. That is the ministerial type of government. There should be what is called intergovernmental relationship because magbabago yung relasyon ng entity na yon with the other region, with the national government, and so. So wh what is so complicated about that? What is then? What about back to wealth on that? Uh, there is principle of equalization that you can read under the federal. So that is in short, in brief, the ministerial government as well as the asymmetric state substate relationship that we are working on. If the government will accept that, fine. Tomorrow we will sign. If they will not accept, we are back to well, square one? What is this square one? You answered that yourself. The question would still be basically how will this be executed uh, without you know going to Congress and uh, amend the Constitution, whether it's whether it's a question. You know, act, act of exception. A, a one way, you know, I will give an example. In the Virgin Islands, the Congress of the United States of America passed a joint resolution so that the Virgin islands could uh, work out and practically opening up 
but just to model, no? And just a hint. Hindi duman sa law, duman lang si joint resolution. Okay. Of course, the enabling act, this brings up the enabling act. Ah, that will have to be the product of that negotiation. But the enabling act will not be there because the substitute for the enabling act will be the basic law. In other words, we will continue to negotiate and then that basic law will be fleshed out by the uh, negotiating party. 